So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a wireless setup of your HP NY6455 e-printer. I'm going to show you how to install the setup in cartridges, how to do the complete setup of the printer. So we'll do everything. So let's start with the unboxing. Wait for your printer to start and once you see the purple light that means we are ready to set up this printer. To start the setup go to your device for example iPhone, laptop, computer or mobile any mobile. So I have an iPhone here open the HP smart app you can download this app from the app store. Once you open the app it will show you that yes. Once you open the app it will show you the printer like one printer is available for the setup so if you don't see you can click on the plus button on the top and click on the set up a new printer get started it will show up HP NY 6400 series here now you have to check if the Wi-Fi network name is correct and then click on the yes button it will access the Wi-Fi password automatically once it is connected, click next. Once you hear this sound, that means printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. The blue light signal will stay on and also the blue light will show up on this line. We have to continue the setup process on the app. Click on the done button once the setup is complete. Press the flashing information button on the printer screen. Click continue. It will ask you to join the HP Plus. If you want, you can activate that or you can just do not activate HP Plus. Decline. So you can do whatever you want here and click on the continue. Next thing is to enroll into the HP Instant Ink or you can skip these benefit or you you can also remind it later next thing is to load the paper paper tray is at the bottom so slide it out adjust the size and place a4 size sheets here close it wait for the paper update to show up here automatically it will update here and click continue next thing is to install the setup in cartridges to install the setup in cartridges we have to take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging make sure you remove the orange seal now open the ink cartridge chamber door by taking it up from here so the ink cartridge chamber will come here open the lock place the black ink cartridge on the black side and close this lock place the coloring cartridge on the color side slide it under the lock and close it with it now close the ink cartridge chamber door press it down and let it go and we are ready to use wait for the ink cartridges to work so on the HP Smart App, it will show up. If you get any error, click on the retry. And here we get a message like it is installed successfully. Click continue. 
now it's asking to do the printer alignment so click on it yes continue it will print a alignment page so once the alignment page is printed we have to place it on the scanner so open the top lid place the page here so place the page here facing this way and close the lid you will see the flashing copy button here so select it once and it starts the scanning for the alignment you can see the progress in your app so once the alignment is successful you will get the message on your screen so click continue button you can you can select the auto updates Now we can print a page which is a welcome page to show us that the process is done. So our printer is set up and it is ready. click on the continue button you can send a link to other devices or you can skip it so setup is complete click on the all done now we are ready to see from here we can see our printer is available in the HP smart app it displays estimated level of ink we can start scanning and printing from here now for example to do a print click on the print document section select any file you have and we can send a print command you can select your printer and you can change do the changes from here like if you want two-sided one-sided color black and once you are ready click on the print icon And next thing is to do the scanning so we can simply go back to the HP smart app main and you will see there is a printer scan option so we can click it now this printer has two options for the scanning you can use the top scanner bed that is here to scan pages or passport IDs or if you want to scan multiple pages you can use that automatic document feeder tray for example I place two pages here so it should be facing up like this once you install the pages you will hear a sound and click on the scan button it is a batch so we can select batch or photo document you can change the DPI from the top so there are many things we can do the settings according to ourselves So you can see it has finished the scannings of two pages so once you will see this screen we can select the scanned documents from here click on it so it will process it now you can see here we have both the pages available if you want you can share it or you can save it so this way we can do the setup of this printer wireless setup or the Wi-Fi setup you can do it with any device you don't only need the iPhone you can do it with Android phone laptop computer MacBook and once we are done we are ready to use this printer thanks for watching